So it's another beautiful morning down at the lake. I couldn't help myself when I checked the wind conditions and it was just glassed out all morning. Got to make the most of it while the surface bite is still on. So came back down here, seen a few splashes already from salmon and seen a few brim cruising on the steps. So let's chuck these surface lures around and see what happens. Stay tuned. the sun just making a peek over the houses let's get fishing I've just hooked up to the first fish and it's a salmon saw a couple of splashes out there and this guy jumped on only a little salmon trout probably about 30 centimeters good for the lake anyways there it is nice salmon to start the morning there we have it on that little surface stick bait imitating a bait fish. I saw a couple of splashes just out there near the pontoons and this guy hopped on. Check this out, I've hooked up. Oh, I dropped him, but look out there. There's just splashes everywhere. Those are all salmon splashes. All right, that was a perfect example of how random salmon come in and go. So I was just flicking for brim, I saw one splash, had a cast at it, all of a sudden a bust up occurred right in front of me. I probably missed about five fish or so and uh, the school moved on as quick as it came. Um, I hooked two, I only landed the one. They were around 30 centimetres but that's how easy salmon fishing can be when there's a school in front of you. It's just a matter of being there when it happens. Just hooked up to another salmon. They've been busting up right in front of me every now and then. Chasing bait fish. You can see the bait fish jumping and these guys following them behind. All right, sized so lake salmon. A bit bigger than the last one. So there was a splash right in front of me. That was a salmon. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm fighting one. Not bad at all. Oh, there goes the hook. They've been chasing bait fish everywhere in front of me. So there we have it. Nice size salmon out the lake. Salmon trout, I should say. Not quite a salmon yet. And there she goes. See if we can't get another one. Now the water level has dropped significantly compared to the other day. And check out that brim hole. That brim was probably feeding there when the water was about here. So less than a foot of water and it was obviously trying to dig up something so the surface bite has been really slow this morning and i reckon it's because the sun's out and when i cast the braid is super bright and the fish can see it before the lure gets to them so that's just one variable that can affect surface fishing as well as a lot of people walking by, a lot of rowers kayaking, been a really slow surface bite. And um, I did manage a few salmon and I've been seeing so many splashes and bust ups every now and then that only last a couple of seconds, but they're definitely in good proportions at the moment. So I might switch it up to a hard body and uh, see what happens from then on. Water is super clear. You can pretty much see every single brim that you walk past. There's three there. I'm not sure if you can see them. Four, five. It's crazy how one day the fishing is going off and the very next day it is just slow at the moment I haven't even caught a single brim today not on surface not on hard bodies haven't tried plastics yet but I reckon it's just too much of a perfect day water's just crystal clear and it's still pretty calm at the moment 
I've seen plenty of brim, but they see me before I see them. And every time I cast, they can see my braid before the lure goes over them. So I might switch it up to straight through fluorocarbon because my reel's running pretty low on braid. And when I get home, I'm probably going to chuck on three pound or four pound straight through fluoro just so that it's a bit more finesse for next time. So at the moment, I'm just walking back to the bike and uh, might make a change of location and we'll see what happens. So I finally managed to hook myself a brim on the way back to the bike. He's only a little one. He's whacked that hard body. He had about three other mates with him, but yeah, so there was a bit of competition between them and this guy just slammed it. Ooh. Watch for those trebles. Get him unhooked and uh, send him off. So I've converted another one into a bike. I watched him. He was sitting in one of his uh, brim holes, just nosing, and. I ran this lure past him and he smashed it. So this one's a little bit bigger than the last one. He's about 23. But there we have it. Another nice brim on a hard body. All right, so about third cast after that last fish I hooked up to this one once again there was a bit of competition between a school of them and this guy hit it first and he's hooked on the gill there he just had a swipe and the treble must have just nailed him starting to get a few now um, we've still got a whole stretch to go so hopefully we'll get a few more for you I've just hooked up to a very nice brim. Check out how chunky that fish is. He's about 32 centimeters. But look at that, he <laughs> T-boned that. Middle trebles all the way down his gob. Wasn't expecting to catch this many today, but managed to get this guy off the flats here. And there it is, about 32 centimeters. He slammed it so hard and I was just working it over the weed beds and see all those brim holes? I was just working it behind those on the weed beds and drop offs and this guy just slammed it. All right, hooks are out and before I set him off, I just want you to check out the girth on this guy. That is a very nice brim on a hard body on the flats. So I've hooked up to another salmon trout. I'm just casting on the drop off there and I've been getting lots of brim follows but this salmon trout jumped on. That's the lure I've been using. I actually found this lure in the Padawalunga River. <laughs> It's a shallow diver, but unfortunately that last salmon broke my bib. So I might change lures and I'll turn this guy into a surface lure for the next trip. So I've just hooked up to another brim, this time on the steps. Here he is. I've switched lures because the other lure was broken. <laughs> uh, I'm using a really similar lure. This one's a shallow diver as well, imitating those little minnow swimming around. So that's the lure there. And that brim seems to take a liking to it, so I'm pretty sure all of them will. But there's only one way to find out. Let's keep fishing. So the salmon are back. I've moved almost close to the inlet again and I've just hooked up to another salmon. 
It's putting up a nice fight on the brim tackle. I reckon this one's about 30, 35 centimetres. Seen them busting up. So I had a cast and about five followed it in. Hooked one, dropped it. Had another cast and this guy jumped on. Another very nice chunky salmon. This one's probably the best of the day. Nice and plump fish. Been feeding on those bait fish. And the reason I'm using that is because I'm matching the hatch. I've seen a lot of blue bait and frogmouth pillies and that looks pretty much identical to them. Which is why the brim and the salmon are climbing all over it. We'll get this guy straight back in. Just hooked up to another nice brim. I watched him actually take that. He's just over there trying to dig me in the weed. Alright, another nice size brim. About 25 centimetres. Slam that hard body about oh, four casts after that salmon. So the brim were hanging quite close to him, waiting for a wounded bait fish to swim by. And this pretty much imitated that wounded bait fish. Another nice handful of brim. Get him back in. There he goes. Hooked up to another brim. About four casts after that last brim. Not fighting much. <laughs> I just got told by a lady on a bike that I'm not allowed to fish outside these houses even though I'm not even leaving footsteps. <laughs> There's a nice little brim. Gonna chuck him back. See you later. I'm not sure how many I've caught so far, but here's another one to add to the list. This guy's really silver. He came out of that weed and stalked this lure. So there it is. About 26, I reckon. And I'm pretty close to the bike, so I reckon I've cracked the code on today's fish. They're sitting on the drop off and waiting for wounded bait fish to swim over. So I reckon I might ride my bike to the very next steps on the other side of the lake. Once again, I've hooked up to a very nice salmon, salmon trout, about 30 centimetres. He's just out there. Oh, I'll get him in. Here's that salmon trout, and Mr. Pelican wants some, and also the heron. So, we'll try release him without him getting needed. Alright, hooks are out. Look at him. They both want it. Too bad. <laughs> that was actually really mean. So the next salmon I catch, I'll feed it to the pelican. Oh, sorry buddy. He's trying to find his own food now. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty mean. I kind of feel guilty for that. All right, so we've just moved locations and it's a lot calmer here. Wind's picked up a little bit, but it's still such a ripper day. Um, as you can see, the water's still super clear up here. We're in the middle reaches of the lake now, and I'm gonna fish these steps like I fished the other ones, with a hard body casting on the drop-offs. So we'll see if this spot's productive, and I'll keep you guys updated. Just landed the first one in the new spot and check out how many are out there. Ready, I'm standing up. They were competing with each other to grab my lure and there's a few around 35 centimeters amongst them. But this little guy jumped on 
Get him unhooked. There he goes. 